Ro Russell is best known as one of the founding fathers of the Canadian AAU scene. Now he is building something new, a boys and girls basketball program at Crestwood Preparatory College, a private school that can provide resources to both their coach and their players. It's a great job, we have great resources, great uh, support systems, and it's very, you know, it's structured. I can be here and do my thing for the next 10, 20 years and, and just, you know, keep on doing what we're doing and keep being successful. So uh, it's, a, it's a great place for longevity. We're not looking at being, you know, the top dog for a year or two. We're looking at longevity. So we want this to be a program that we can look back on. It's been going for 20 years, 30 years. We know that these kids are looking to go to top level post-secondary schooling and we don't want anyone going there unprepared. Crestwood is an academic institution and we've always been an academic institution for 40 years. So we're gonna give these kids through basketball a way to come to a high-end private school. The first time I visited here, they're like, okay, like this is no joke, you're not just coming here to play basketball and then leave. Like, you're gonna get a good education, we're gonna stay on top of you. You just have to learn how to manage your time well. When you're on the court, you're just focused on what you're doing there and then when the game's done, you go home, do your homework. You just focus on everything you do. I think it's special. You're setting the foundation for many years to come. Like our young guys, like Elijah Fisher, they look up to us and we'll see where they end up. Crestwood is a great school because 99.9% .9 of kids graduate to go off to university and they have high academics. It teaches me more how to be like a, more of a gentleman, be more respectful. We want guys to be academically at a level that they can go in and it's not a shock to them. You know, we want them to be used to the university type level of, of standards. It's about building a well-rounded person from academics, character, and athletics. The school's past history with international students has allowed players from other countries to help jumpstart the basketball program, including Franco Miller of the Bahamas. No, I never thought that I would uh, ever be up in Canada playing basketball. At home, there's not as much opportunities as there are here. So the best thing to do if you want to further your education and you want to let your sport take you wherever it takes you is to get out and get as much opportunity as you can. Uh, this is definitely preparing me for the next level because you know there's a high level basketball training and a high level standard in the classroom so it gives you the best of both worlds. I'm from New York and I went to a school in Springfield Gardens, it's in Queens, New York. All the teachers know my name, like even if I don't have them, they all know my name. Like if I went to a school, it would be like a month in and some of them still, still wouldn't know my name. I'm developing more in my game and in school. Coach Rowe has a great program where he, we, we're more of a brotherhood than the team. Yeah, it, it brings a big smile to my face to see that, you know, things have changed and it, it's, it's all flipped around to where Americans are coming here. We're offering a great product here now where you get the academics, you get exposure, the opportunity, and with the MPA really growing, the competition is really good now. So all those things are here for them. So it's very, very difficult for them not to succeed. With a player like A.J. Lawson on their roster, GTA Prep always gets their opponent's best shot. Opposing players raise their game to try to measure up to the number one player in the NPH's 2019 class, and Lawson would not have it any other way. Like before I never had targets, so I like having it now. People know who I am, so every game I have to, be, I have to play my best, and if I don't, then Everybody's going to be like, oh, he's not the best, he's not number one. So I have to prove myself every game, so I feel like it's a challenge and it's a good challenge. He excites me. I'm very proud of that kid. Uh, if you saw him uh, a year ago or two years ago, you'd say, you know, he's a kid that has potential. And in the last year and a half, two years, his skill level, his IQ, his physicality, and you're kind of seeing a lot of these things, and you see him going up against big talent in all through North America. But very rarely do I Tell him this, there you go, AJ, I'm uh, proud of you. I barely hear like compliments. He's always either dissing me, trying to like keep me humble, keep me grounded. He used to train pros and stuff like that before, so he's trying to train me like a pro. I like Coach Coop. Much like Lawson's progression over the last few years, head coach David Cooper has seen his own personal growth. A former NCAA player who then played and coached professionally, the transition to the prep school ranks came with its own personal challenges including a disappointing debut season. But that only fueled his fire to improve himself and his players heading into this season. And GTA Prep is much more than just one player. I think that's the biggest part for me, the adjustment, was knowing that I'm not dealing with pros per se, that I, I'm going to have to 
uh, and give instruction to, I had to just take a step back and realize that I had to get into more development. Their commitment and their dedication, their focus uh, to what they're doing, it's exciting to see um, some of it starting to pay off and pay dividends in different ways. And them more as players and as a team than anything else. We're always in the gym two times a day minimum, sometimes even three times a day. In the morning, like 6 a.m. to 8, and then in the evening from 3 to, 3 to 6. So all that extra work we put in, we're confident. It really comes from the hours and hours that we put in the gym. Coach has us working a lot, like every day, multiple times per day. So it's, it's our work ethic, I guess. Coach Cooper is, uh, comes from a professional background. He puts a lot in uh, trust. He, he developed me a lot. A lot of the moves that I do on the court really comes from practices, and he really developed my skill level. Hafif, he's been playing incredible lately. But Casey, he's been more vocal on the defensive side, getting big rebounds. Josh, he's hitting down shots. We've got Dondre, we got Andre. Because of Coop's training, everyone's getting better. I feel like we could win. I feel like we're one of the best in the league. We have a goal to set out, and um, we want to be a title contender. I think we put ourselves in a good position to take it. Ro Russell is best known as one of the founding... The National Preparatory Association is expanding for Season 3. Canada's only national prep school basketball league is accepting applications from high-level programs from coast to coast. The NPA provides top competition, unrivaled exposure, and every program will have an impact in the growth of the league. We may also be able to provide opportunities for individual players looking to join one of the NPA teams. The team application deadline is April 30th. Email info at northpolehoops.com to start the process for your chance to join a nation inspired. History has been made in Canadian basketball. One hand cock back. Oh! Bringing the fans to their feet. Putting a man in the rim. Ain't that awesome? Oh my lord! Welcome to the NPA on NPH. For the sixth time today, we're back live for the NPA on NorthPoleHoops.com. Game number six. We had two showcase games. This is the fourth quarter final. Jason Tom here alongside Elias Sabate. Real quick rundown. We had the number one ranked team in this national championship take out RNS, ending their season. Followed up by an outstanding game, Central Tech taking out TBA, Central Tech the two seed. The three seed just survived a scare from LBA. They advance and then right now, we have Crestwood Prep in the blue taking on GTA Prep in the red. Casey Izagu, the Defensive Player of the Year, tips it off, sends AJ Lawson in. That is the Defensive Player of the Year sending in our unanimous selection as a first team All Star, AJ Lawson. We are in for a great game here, Elias. And AJ's looking shredded and looks like he's had some size as well, some mass. That week that he had or that weekend during NBA All-Star Weekend in LA at Basketball Without Borders. My brother and co-founder of North Pole Hoops, Tarek Spate, was out there tracking and evaluating him and Tyree Samuel as well as the ladies. Look at the transition ball. So much Agbapu throwing down. Some high level basketball being played you know, you would expect this between a five and a four seed. This game really is a coin flip. There's so many similarities between these two teams. So many similar body types, so many similar positional players. And they match up extremely well, these two teams. Like, really have no clue who ends up winning this game. And with everything we've seen, although the top three seeds have all advanced 
through the first three quarterfinals. Every one of them were really given a scare. I mean, Notre Dame ended up winning by 20 points, but through three and a half quarters, that was an incredibly close game. And obviously, Central Tech just pulled out the win. And then in the last game, CTA took them to the final minutes before they put that one away. So, oh, Jacoby Neath. Long range. Had to beat the shot clock, gets it back. Nice pass down. Oh, Casey Azagu. And that's your defensive player of the year. Big so case. Like, met that ball at its peak. Yep. It's always nice when the Defensive Player of the Year can prove why he got that award a minute into the game. Definitely a defensive presence this year for GTA Prep. There's A.J. Lawson. Getting deed up by Franco Miller. Fellow, that's a meeting of two first-team All-Stars right there. Oh, Zagu dancing on the sidelines there. Hey, hey, hey. And Luis Pacheco, number 21 for Crestwood, also a finalist for the Defensive Player of the Year award. An absolute beast on the defensive end. Oh, he was a monster yesterday, getting them to move into this game. Maybe he knew that he had not won Defensive Player of the Year and wanted to send a message. That's twice now, stepping out of, out of bounds along the sidelines. Interesting matchups here. I mean, and this is Hafith Mowallen. Very interesting. He pointed to DeAndre Pierre. You got Franco Miller because Hafith Mowallen matches up very well with number 23, Trevon Thomas of Crestwood Prep. The winner of this game will take on the Notre Dame Hounds out of Wilcox, Saskatchewan. Tristan Lindo mugged at the rim. One of my favorites. Love me some Tristan Lindo. He's kind of, he reminds me kind of like a West Car in yeah. terms of his contributions. Ooh, is that Joshua Hodden checking in with a haircut? Oh, wow, it is. <laughs> Fresh cut. Completely threw me off. Look who rolls in to take in this game. The Notre Dame Hounds coming back in maybe after a little din-din. I think they call it supper time out in the prairies. Or, yes, is that, or is that more of a maritime thing? I think it's maritimes. Okay. Well, anyways, the Hounds are here to check out their competition. Study time. For tomorrow's semifinals. That will be a 9 o'clock game. Everyone gets a nice rest. We weren't jamming in these incredibly important games, giving everybody full rest time. These teams will get 24 hours or more. Oh, I'm just realizing down on the other baseline, we got RNS in the house. Saw their season come to an end earlier. Ooh, Jacoby Neath. Called out of bounds, thought maybe it was going to be a charge. Ooh, nice pass. And a look away. Casey Azagu. That's the Casey we've been waiting for. Nothing easy from Big Easy. Deciding, is it big case or big easy? Big case. Big case. It's a big case for the jury to solve. Uh huh? No good, little sidestep three. Neath comes out with it. Man, it's so nice to see a healthy Jacoby Neath. He's just so bouncy and explosive. Oh, there it right is. Right past step. him. And the contact. Oh, Let's we, go. We got some talking going on. I love it. We got some chitter chatter on the hardwood. The gym's filling up again. Awesome. 
he converts the three-point play. Tied at five. Oh, Houghton finds a cutting DeAndre Pierre. Neath to Thomas. Oh, Casey Izaku. Defensive player of the year. Oh, and back the other way. Luis Pacheco, one of our finalists for DPOY. Man, things picked up pretty quick, didn't they? Absolutely. First couple and, of minutes. And we expected that the game would be like this. They match up really well. Size, length, athleticism. What an absolute showcase. We're so packed in here. I see Tara can't even see over top of the standing room only in the corner. AJ Lawson. Ooh. He's going to force the issue. Crestwood's going to have to find a way to slow him down without picking up fouls. Fouls have been quite an issue through the first couple quarterfinals. Hey, hey guys, quick, 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 The unofficial Best Dressed Coach of the Year award went out to head coach Ro Russell. I think David Cooper saw that, came out today. Left the tie at home, but looking fresh. Neath, pull up three. Ooh, almost got it to go. Bouncing and rolling, falling out. AJ Lawson, pull up three. Oh, look at Casey Izagu. Wow. The, what, I, I told you the storylines in this game, and that's one of them, Luis Pacheco and Casey Izagu. And Luis Pacheco fresh off a of University of Texas San Antonio offer last night. Coming in correct, he wants more. More. Some American flavor in this game as well. Some bohemian flavor. And that's one of them right there. Franco Miller getting that conch salad going. And expect a lot of these 2018 prospects that are on the floor to be setting up visits shortly after Nationals. They wanted to put all their focus on this event. We're talking about Jacoby Neath being healthy. How about a healthy Joshua Houghton? Oh man, oh. He's, he brings the game for sure. So I almost nice didn't recognize it until you said uh, haircut. Crazy. These guys got to let us know. Maybe if I had that, maybe if I had that Insta chat, I would know. Time out on the floor. 5.17 left in the opening quarter. Stay with us. We'll be back after a short break. The National Preparatory Association is expanding for Season 3. Canada's only national prep school basketball league is accepting applications from high-level programs from coast to coast. The NPA provides top competition, unrivaled exposure, and every program will have an impact in the growth of the league. We may also be able to provide opportunities for individual players looking to join one of the MPA teams. The team application deadline is April 30th. Email info at northpolehoops.com to start the process for your chance to join a nation inspired. The National Preparatory NPH Events. There's an opportunity to get involved at the ground level. NPH hosts elite level high school tournaments to national club team championships throughout the course of the season. Now is your chance to get involved with the fastest growing sport in Canada with the industry leaders and influencers. Get in the game today and join NPH in growing basketball in this country. NPH Scouting Service. 
The NPH Scouting Service is another platform for exposure with a network of over 300 coaches and scouts from some of the most recognizable brands and programs. NPH National Showcase Circuit. From the grassroots level to the pros, a system has been developed through the National Showcase Circuit. North Pole Hoops hosts three-day camps in Canada's major basketball markets that focus on exposure. Back live. Oh, here goes A.J. Lawson. Oh no, got hung up on the rim. Took off just a little late. Back the other way, Neath to Pacheco. Ooh. Pacheco looked like he wanted to throw that down on Casey. Give it up early, you gotta give it up early. Send him, yeah, exactly. Neath into the body. We're talking, A.J. Lawson got split open a little bit there on the hand, had a little bit of uh, droplets on the floor. Joking over here that that's, a, that's the clutch gene laying around. Pick it up, put it in a vial. Oh, big time shot, Trevon Thomas. Solid game for Trevon Thomas last night as well. He hit a couple of big ones to build the lead for Crestwood. Once again, you are watching quarterfinal number four of the NPA National Championship Tournament in the red GTA prep in the blue Crestwood. Again. Oh, could have been a foul there on Pacheco. Instead, Crestwood gets the ball back with three on the shot clock. Three thirty-five left. We got a young buck checking in. Elijah Fisher. Arguably the number one player in his class in the world. He's been destroying the competition stateside as well, whether on the circuit, whether in all the camps that he's attended. Nick Zeffi on it. Oh, neat. Ooh, would have been a big time shot. Very cognizant. I can appreciate how cognizant he is of the shot clock violation both times, two times, it's been in his hand at the end of the clock. Lawson inviting the contact but lost the ball. Back the other way. That is what you expect from DeAndre Pierre. Putting the body on the line. Picking up the charge, DeAndre Pierre with his team down three. Bill Russell not happy with his squad right now. Asking him to give it up on the break when you got numbers. Much like you were saying, give it up early. Great crowd out here on a Friday evening in Brampton, Ontario, the hometown of AJ Lawson, the hometown of Jason Tom. <laughs> Just had to stick that in there. One more time. Oh, AJ was leaking out all by himself. David Cooper, head coach David Cooper, politely asking his guard, DeAndre Pierre, to look up. Yeah, you want it out of your hands earlier, and there was a play like that just two minutes ago with Franco Miller going the other way. When you have two guys on the wing, get it ahead and continue to come down the middle. You might get it back there. Create a different scoring opportunity especially when you got numbers. Pierre hitting the first in the bonus. Crestwood. Pierre 
here goes one and two on the free throws. Neath ahead, Thomas. No good. Offensive rebound brought down. Agbapu. Luis Pacheco. Luis Pacheco is taking this personal against Casey Zago. Yep, you could tell they're talking almost after every play. He's letting him know. A couple of Brampton natives on this GTA prep squad. AJ, Scotty Austin, DeAndre Pierre, Vegas Evans, Casey Izagu. And they brought the home crowd with them. A little Zagu. bit of one on one here. Spins to the baseline, has nowhere to go. And that's not there yet. It's just not there yet. It doesn't look smooth. It doesn't look clean. Maybe he just miss. You know, maybe he just fumbled that one. But it doesn't look natural yet. But one thing that does look natural is his defensive abilities. Being able to knock down, being able to swat shots away, being able to alter others and rebound in bunches. Well, it's a six-point Crestwood lead, and AJ Lawson has just one point. I feel like AJ, at least when I call his games, is a slow starter. Well, he's sharing the ball as well. You know, you've got a lot of guys for GTA Prep who have been able to get shots up. Well, I mean, the other thing is, if there's anybody from a coaching standpoint, as we have AJ breaking out, great pass. Showing a little bit of his PG skills. Left hand bounce pass on a full stride. Back the other way, knees trying to answer. Oh, that's not Pacheco's shot. That's a rushed possession. You got to reset on the shot clock. Look you want to get that back into the hands of your guard. Back out top. Big time shot, Najayan Simmons. So you just said, you know, AJ started off slow, but he affects the game in other ways. He gets his teammates in the mix early so that when it's takeover time, we talked about that clutch gene, you, you just drop droplets of off the floor. That's when that comes into play. Get everybody involved early, and when it's AJ time, give me the ball. And I was saying, though, he's going up against a Roe Russell team. If there's anybody, if there's anybody in this league who knows how to put a defensive scheme out to take care of a star player like A.J. Lawson, it's Roe Russell. He's been doing it for 20 years, taking on some of the best players across North America. Yes, yes. He's done it against Americans. He's done it here in Canada. And he also knows how to get his players up for a game to allow them to have that personal one-on-one -on -one battle saying, listen, Luis Pacheco, they just gave the defensive player of the year to a guy you're playing on the other end. Oh, yeah. And yep. listen, Jacoby Neath, you weren't even mentioned as an all-star this year due to injury trouble. So go out there and take it at A.J. Lawson. And do it within the game. Those type of plays in that last possession, you just saw Pacheco go up with soft finish. You want to see him go up and dunk everything. Refs all over the shot clock. 30 seconds to go here. Got a one point lead for Crestwood. The slow starts continue for the first round buys. AJ pulls it down. Get deed up by the, look at this, the future of the NPA right here. AJ Lawson and Elijah Fisher. Lawson contorting that wiry frame for two. I don't throw the term NBA prospect around lightly. But AJ, you look at AJ Lawson, you look at Jacoby Neath. 10 seconds to go here. AJ looks at the clock, gets the ball in his hand again. Will he take it? No, nope, one gives it up. Oh, Najayan Simmons. Big time shot. Number one to number two for a three and a four point lead after one. Stay with us.
Seeing is believing. Create your very own mixtape that showcases your top highlights and skills. And strengthen your recruiting status with a direct video for coaches and scouts. Available at all NPH covered and hosted events nationwide. Email mdotto at northpolehoops.com for any inquiries and special filming requests. Exposure starts here. Development and character development. Top performers go on to receive athletic scholarships in Canada and the United States. There are currently over 200 Canadian men and women playing at the NCAA Division I level. Canada's next top talents are identified at NPH's National Showcase Circuit. Our scouts are constantly evaluating talent to ensure accuracy and credibility. NPH Scouting Service The NPH Scouting Service is another platform for exposure with a network of over 300 coaches and scouts from some of the most recognizable brands and programs. Our scouts are constantly evaluating talent to ensure accuracy and credibility. NPH Events There's an opportunity to get involved at the ground level. NPH hosts elite level high school tournaments to national club team championships throughout the course of the season. Now is your chance to get involved with the fastest growing sport in Canada with the industry leaders and influencers. Get in the game. And we're back live. GTA Prep with a four point lead thanks to a buzzer beating three and that's AJ Lawson with the rock. Kick back out. Halati, ooh, halfway down shot, before it popped out. Good looking shot. He's got to stay confident and take it every time it gets to him. I said, oh, this is right here. The future of the NPA. Elijah Fisher, AJ Lawson. And Kobe Antwi coming up with the rebound. I really like his game. Winner of this, moving on to play the number one seed. And Notre Dame in attendance. Oh, absolutely. You knew Studying. they were coming here. Hey, Friday night in Brampton, not for the Notre Dame Hounds. They're at Sheridan College scouting. And you know Friday night in Brampton's the place to be. But the Hounds are all business. They could have been at any number of suburban sports bars, which would be open to their advertising, but we're not going to give them anything free. Scotty Austin, call for a travel? Class of 2020, Scotty Austin, lots of time on his side, and he's getting some, some minutes here in a very important game. That means coach put some trust in his young gun. Hey. Head coach David Cooper is building an entire a program, a foundation for the future. One of the Lawson. Working on the young gun into the corner. First team all star, Franco Miller with the rock. Runs out of room, Jacoby Neath.
Jay. Back into the corner. Deflected pass. AJ's gonna have to try to push it back. Another big time shot. And the corner three for Simmons is the one that he likes. Oh yeah. And I mean big time shot because for GTA Prep, if they can have him hitting those shots, it means big things for their team. Fisher, some nervous energy in that shot. And he's playing with the big boys now. Let's see, where, let's see what this kid's really made of. Real deal, Holyfield's gonna step up in these moments. Tied at 20. This first half, definitely a feeling out process between these two teams. Ooh, Lawson. Nice touch. Very soft touch after he explodes at the rim. A quiet first quarter, still led everybody with seven points. Three assists for AJ as well. Fisher tries to save it, can't. Allen after some early foul trouble. Back on the floor. Simmons to Allen. Back out. They're really feeding Simmons in the land beyond following his own shot. He's one of their best three-point shooters, man. I'm going to keep giving it to him even if he misses a few. Scotty Austin, young gun making an impact for his squad. Franco Miller. Nothing but net on that one. So pure. Another tight game here in the quarterfinal. Oh, Mualen, I saw that coming. That's and some he hustle, saved baby. It. That's and some he hustle. Saved it. What are they calling? What was the call there on the sidelines? They're calling half it out of bounds. I thought he had at least a foot in bounds. I don't know what that call was. Regardless, amazing hustle by the kid. Looking to get a U Sports offer at some point this weekend in his senior year. And one of the best point guards we have in this league. Oh, but he's going to have a heck of a time <laughs> trying to keep up with Jacoby Neath and Casey Izagu. Almost we'll spiked that off a young man in the first row. And that's what I'm saying, like a guy like Jacoby Neath, now that he's at 95%, like he can just impose his will at the point guard position. Best line of the day, this is not hockey. I'll say that again. <laughs> Neath misses. Mo Allen had Dondre Reddick down in the corner. Mo Allen cooking. I mean, yeah. we yeah. sign won, that guy up. Yeah, he won our over our hearts at the New Year's Challenge at Crestwood Prep. Houghton was out during that time. Yep. Taking care of an injury, and and Wallen stepped right in. Here he is feeding it ahead, and that's the that's the play we were talking about—the smart play, Haladi lining up for three. That's Joseph. Talk about Neath imposing his will. The danger there is to get a little carried away. G 
GTA Prep, two point lead. A lot of teams sticking around and watching this game. Big time shot, Dondre Reddick, that corner three. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say whatever team can, can consistently hit that corner three is gonna end up winning this game. As they're so evenly matched in every other aspect. Jacoby sold that pretty good. Half if actually created some space and tried to back off. I would hate to play against Jacoby Neat. Cause like, <laughs> what are you gonna do on his first step? Well, and not just that, but like, he lets you know about everything, but he, he's not like outwardly, like he always does it with a smile. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like he, he he's the guy who it's like. It's like that evil smile. Yeah, but it's like, it's like he's daring you to do something. Yes, and not yes. like physically, but just like. Yes. And if you get involved in that with Jacoby Neath, I think you're going to be waking up a monster you don't want to mess with. Because this guy can jump over you and just dunk it on your head. Literally jump over yeah. you. Oh! And he's got to be getting a little frustrated. Some calls not going his way, shots rattling out. Javon Thomas had been waiting to take Neath off for the last two minutes, I think. Neath just kept battling and getting himself to the line. This is, see, uh, we talk about matchups, Mo Allen and Thomas. A really good one. Yep. And we got Pierre and Lawson about to check back in here. And then you got Pacheco and Izagu. really like what head coach David Cooper brings to this league. The player development, you mean? Unbelievable. Yeah. And, and he was so honest with me saying that after the, you know, at the first year, because he's coming from that pro level, that he didn't know how much energy was going to have to be put in purely to development. Well, yeah, at the, at the pro level, you're getting, you're getting guys that have been through the fire, guys that are experienced. Well, the pros, right? You're getting a, a, a ready product. There, you have to teach guys where to dribble. Here, you got to teach guys how to dribble. Yep. But very honest with his own assessment and how he had to become better as a coach and what a turnaround he's seen in just one year and been able to bring in guys that he needs because he can offer that pro-level co coaching and as a former high-level collegiate player. Now, A.J. Lawson back on the floor. He's got to keep himself a threat. The defense is starting to sag off on him because he's, he's looking to pass more than he is to score. A lot of charges today in our quarterfinals. Everybody putting it on the floor. Four twenty left in the second quarter. Trying to pace ourselves here for what I expect is going to be an incredible second half. Ooh, it's a tough pass from Lindo, <laughs> burying it in Iziago's midsection. AJ Lawson cut off. You can really see this defensive scheme set up to stop AJ's slashing ability. I mean, you're not going to be able to stop him from blasting past you, but if your next level of defense is there to cut him off at all times, and the way that they square up on him, it's going to make it quite difficult for him to be able to finish. But he probably will end up at the line 20 times in the game. Right. But Crestwood has the depth to be able to throw guys out there to pick up those fouls, right? Yes, they do. And you can put on a, a guy in the class of 2022 who's the number one player in North America, arguably. Yeah, yeah, you do. Oh, no. Oh, no. Kobe Antwi. 
pulling out the moves on the step back Jimmy. Turning big case inside out. Time out on the floor. They need a breather after the Kobe Antwi ankle breaker. Stay with us. the buzzer. Stick back jam Jacoby Neath. Hey! Let's go, man. Good thing, boy. Transition Shaheem Malcolm. Oh, someone check that ball for a bruise. Oh! With the steal. Blowing past everybody. AJ Lawson. In transition, throwing it down. Off the backboard, Ja'Shawn Henry. Shaheem Malcolm letting everybody know the Riverhawks have taken flight. Seconds on the shot clock. Taking a look at a Kobe Antwi who just set the highlight reels ablaze with a crossover step back, Jimmy. AJ Lawson can't drop the jumper. Trevon Thomas. Oh, what a miss. And Luis Pacheco. <laughs> Luis Pacheco's looking at him. He was asking for that alley oop from mid-court. Yeah, Trevon Thomas made the mistake. Ooh, Lawson picked it up, almost got into trouble. Oh, what a pass. DeAndre Pierre. Dre do dropping, do try that again, three, two, one. Dre. Dropping dimes. Triple D's. Oh, wait, we're live? Ooh. Oh. A tangle over there by Casey, and that's a good stop. Whether you get the foul or not, you're not going to let him have that easy dunk, gain momentum. You know what I like, too? Jacoby Neath immediate there, immediately there to pick up Somachi Agbagpu, who jumped right to his feet. You don't allow the opponent to think that he hurt you. And I'm looking as I'm watching the free throws in perfect eye line, and I'm sure you could maybe see him as well. Head coach Adam Huffman just up in the top left of your screen underneath the basket there. He is in full scout mode right now. Because I'll tell you this, no matter who advances in this game, we got a heck of a semifinal tomorrow when they take on the Notre Dame Hounds. Neath, pull up, three, no good. We'd really like to see him get into the rim a little bit more. Good push ahead by Casey, saw his guard right away. Travel call. GTA prep up a point. Both these teams just want to get to half with this a tight game. This has been so back and forth. Exactly what we expected on paper. These two teams are just so closely matched. AJ Lawson with the steal. Up ahead. You're dead right, man. AJ Lawson just loves getting his teammates involved. He's a point guard. He's a point guard. We used to think about him as a shooting guard because he's got a knack for scoring. But at the next level, he could play both. 
at the NBA level, they're thinking about him as a future PG. Well, especially when you see the way the game's going now, right? Yeah, the, the, the big hybrids. Well, Isaiah Thomas was saying it the other day. I mean, the bigs can do what the little guys do. So now we're going to, we're 10, well, we're five years away from positions one through five. You got to be six, five and up. Yep. Yep. Or if you're, if you're the size of Isaiah Thomas, you just got to be amazing. But I mean, uh, you have to be Russell Westbrook. That's uh, what you got to oh. be. Or Isaiah Thomas. Or Isaiah, well, I don't even know if an Isaiah Thomas would be, because we look at the new Isaiah Thomas. Had a great year for the Celtics. Okay, or look at a guy like Mike Conley. Or look at a guy, like the, the list goes on. Look at Allen Iverson. Now I think in five years, that's going to be non-existent. It's possible. It's definitely possible. There we go. GTA prep on the run. AJ Lawson no trying to stick back. They call no that way. a charge. No way. That's a that's a bad call. Yeah. That's the first call of the whole inter in entire event that I disagree with. Defender was on an angle on his side and still moving. What these players need to remember, though, is the officials only need to talk to the head coach and the captain. If you're not either of those, watch your chatter. Trevon Thomas, hands off, Nice running off the Pacheco screen. Nice tucks it, hands it off to Pacheco. Oh, Kobe Antwi, let's go! X factor for this squad. One point lead, GTA prep. Every time you look down, saying the same thing. What a pass! And AJ Lawson took off, and look at the hounds. The hounds are in the stands. <laughs> Got off all of them on their feet. Deshaun Henry <laughs> is reenacting the miss dunk right now. AJ Lawson's worth the price of admission. Which, by the way, is $10 a day, $30 for the rest of the weekend down here at Sheridan College in Brampton. Well, at this point, there's no more $30 because if you. If you come for the next two days, it's just 10 a day. Why pay Why pay 30 when you can pay 20? Why are you giving, why are you? Well, it just doesn't just make go, sense. No, just. Look, come to the front door. There's going to be Elias. an extra 10 for Tristan, who's done ask, an amazing job beside us all day today. Come to the front door, ask for Elias, and ask for the easy <laughs> yeah, discount. The easy special. And if they tell you, you they, that they don't know what you're talking about, just pay the $10 and come in. <laughs> Some good basketball being played. Thomas turns it over. We got numbers going the other way. Tristan Lindo! Four on the clock. Neath going to try to answer. He loses it, though. GTA prep. Basket did not count. GTA Prep is going to head into the locker room with Uncle Mo on their side. Momentum on the side of GTA Prep. Up five at halftime. Stay with us. The final quarter final. Who will advance take on the Hounds? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> chill, chill. My name is AJ Lawson and I'm mic up for North Wall Hoops. Let's get it. Ah, you know the do. We do this. Ooh. Ah, get it, boy! Yo, juice me, juice me, juice me, juice me. Oh, yay. Just need some juice. Oh, yeah. It's definitely going to work today. Yup. Woo! Hey! Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. hey, hey, hey. Alright, he's right out with me. Had some fun. Let's go out here. Let's get some stuff. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, yeah. I sent a land. Trying to land. That's gravity, right? But no, but you. No one was on her yet. No one was on her yet. <laughs> You're old. Oh, cool. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good pass, Jay. Hey, stay there, stay there, stay there. Give me the assist, boy. Give me the assist, boy. Oh, yay! Give me that chief. Let's go, bro. Free throws, we eat these every day, practice every day. Ah, next one for sure. Yup. Yup, I knew it. I knew it. Hey, yo. Hey, Tristan, Tristan, get it? Yo, call Stack Hot. Stack Hot, trust me. Stack Hot. Give me that. You still have to play hard. Live stream too. Live stream, definitely. Can't mess up. If you mess up, let's you go. Stretch it out. Let's go. You look a little cheese. I just come, I just come cheer you up. So start shooting, bro. When you shoot, yo, when those guys are coming on the zone, and you catch it. You see a little bit of air. Just pull it, bro. You know you're a shooter, bro. Come on. Hey, Vegas. Yeah. He's out. He's out. Let's go, bro. Give me some, bro. Yeah. Hey, that's, that's his first buck, no? That's first bucket. first buck of the season. We have to give you have to give first some love. Yup, you ain't going nowhere. I promise you. Pass it, Mary, pass it. <laughs> Yo, I knew it. I knew it. Yeah, hey, Bobo, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna debrief him. Oh, debriefing Casey too. Oh, debrief. 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 Hey. <laughs> hey, I won. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, ah, no. Case, one more, one more. <laughs> yes, mine. Hey, Josh, Josh, if I miss it, I promise you you're shooting next one. I ain't gonna miss, though. <sighs> yup. I ain't gonna miss. Oh. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Hey, hey, deep brief, deep brief. Deep brief, deep brief. <laughs> He's getting cheese. Hey, Ty. I won't get the next foul, trust me, trust me. Hey. <laughs> Let's go, bro, don't jump. Oh my god! And the mic'd up game for AJ Lawson has now come to an end. I said, I said, oh my God. What'd you say? I said, let's go, bro. Don't jump. Do you have five? Yes. How do you eject my number one prospect, bro? Bro, tell him again, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Going for a triple double, too. Really? They ejected me. I'm really, I'm really cheesed. I'm cheesed. What's all good, though? Good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. Fade to black, and we're out. I'm Jacoby Neese, and I'm mic'd up for North Pole Hoops. Okay, Trey. Okay, Trey. Okay, Trey. Talk about yeah! yeah! Let's go, right, man. Yo, let's kill. Let's, let's kill, kill, man. Let's, let's kill. kill. Hey, prove a point right now. Number one in NPA right now. Big game. Let's go, man. Step number on the ground. Number one on three. Number one on three. One, one two, two, three. three. Number one. Let's go through first. Let's go through. Good. Juice. Give me three. Yes, sir. 34. <laughs> If, if, if you don't cut off the skip pass, if two guys are back, then talk, then you come back. Hey, we have to trap okay. harder so he can't so, see that far so, pass. So. Oh. Oh. Ah. Come on, get a quick breather. You're gonna finish here. Bring it in. Oh, hey, come on. What's up? Hey, let's get a stop. Are you pissed because of missed shots? Are your knees hurt or what's going on? Nothing. I can't play basketball. You're good. Chill. Dude, chill. Easy things. Okay, listen. You just came back off your knee issues. Okay? It's not going to be the easiest thing right now. Simple things. Good, Catch and shoot threes. Okay? Attack and kicks. Attack and floaters. Okay? You'll be all right. Let's go right now. Yeah, let's go. Hey! I was ready to shoot it. No, I mean like just a little more. more. Okay, okay, I got you. Hey! Let's go, man. Good pick, boy. I need that lob to wake me up, bro. Oh my god. Yeah, don't only I know you would want to dunk. I would have done the same thing. But we gotta crash, dude. They're crashing boards, good. Let's go. Hey! 
Yes, sir. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. You fouling. Don't talk. I'm good. Don't talk to me, bro. Oh, yo. Are you crazy? What the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? Hey, hit me, man, hit me in my face. I got it. I'm not letting that slide again. I'm getting it. He appreciates it, but I don't because look at him. He can take care of himself. Here's our call. First one is a foul on the shot. Your guy gets two shots. The second one is 11. It's an unsportsmanlike technical. They hit him. So yes. two more. Okay. Wow. Four. Let me hit four. Hey, please. Arc on your shot. Arc on your shot. All right. I think I'll foul me again. Let's go. Bro, the man actually slapped me. Oh my god. Hey. That's a bucket. Let's go. Like Bro, when they sub, like, there was no drop off. Like, every time they sub, it's like energetic, man. It's just getting in the game. Hey, and what? And what? 16, 16 whole minutes left. We're good. But we got to bounce back tomorrow. That's it. That's all we can do. Homer, Homer to the right. That boy is skinny. Bro, that man, bro. Tomer is so skinny, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, when it went off the glass. Just scream in it and see if the guy hears you. He's right here. He can hear me. We'll see y'all tomorrow. History has been made in Canadian basketball. From the Maritimes to the nation's capital. I just like the sound. Ready, take My goodness. To the six. Oh, big block there. To the prairies. By Deshaun Henry. All the way to British Columbia. And this is the NPA. One hand jam! All over the defense! My lord! Goodness gracious! Campbell with the facial. Good one there is Sammy Hunter. And that was it. Oh my lord. And look at this. Danilo Jiricic ending his high school career with a dagger of a spike. GTA prep wisely feeding the hot hand. Oh, nice. Step back, cross through, and we got Sidney Kabongo on fire right now. Oh, how about that nasty from Jashawn Henry? Stick back, Joe. Chris Aiken. Knock back. Oh, no. Bringing the fans to their feet, putting a man in the rim. In transition with the. Hawk, back, one, hand, pounded. Woo! DeAndre Pierre all over the rim. Oh! Down the lane, Steven Rawwire. Everybody on their feet as Canada top flight are the first high school age national champions in the history of Canadian basketball. The National Preparatory Association is expanding for Season 3. Canada's only national prep school basketball league is accepting applications from high-level programs from coast to coast. The NPA provides top competition, unrivaled exposure, and every program will have an impact in the growth of the league. We may also be able to provide opportunities for individual players looking to join one of the NPA teams. The team application deadline is April 30th. Email info at northpolehoops.com. Don't worry, you didn't miss anything. Half with Moallen from downtown C, back just in time. Pushing the lead up to eight. Thank you for everyone tuning in online. Tell your friends we're in for a great second half. Let's see if we can hit the 200 mark on our live viewers, shall we? 
Oh, Neef can't finish. Pacheco there to clean it up. Great crowd in here. And what Neef I love just looks is super composed. And what I love really quick, the teams that are done from this tournament are still here watching these games. It truly is like this is a league that fully supports each other. All competition inside the lines, but outside the lines, nothing but support. I love it. Kobe Antwi, who was spectacular in that first half. Neath has just not been able to find the range. You know who always has the range? Franco Miller. The bucket getter from the Bahamas. How cool is it going to be to see him at his next stop and be able to say he went from the Bahamas to Canada to play to the U.S. prep school basketball. Yeah. Bahamas to Canada to the U.S. Hasn't really happened before. It's going to happen a number of times now. Sammy Hunter following that same line as well for BC Christian Prep. Tristan Lindo, who electrified the crowd in the first half with a big time jam. You can't call that. You cannot call that. You cannot make that call from that angle. That is the baseline referee's call to make. We're going back the other way with the possession arrow. Miller. Neath up top. That had been scouted well, but they didn't follow through. They've ran that play a few times and for Franco it was and vice well, versa. Well scouted by Coop. Yep. Cut off by DeAndre Pierre, but then Miller just continued on and had the easy bucket. Look at the seal here in the interior. Casey trying to get a piece. Well, Allen passes a little hot off the deflection. Ooh. Look at Pacheco. Luis Pacheco is possessed in this game. Head coach David Cooper does not like the fact that his team's lead has went down to one. Tristan, pull me up that bracket. Not yet updated. It will be soon online. So taking a look left to right, Notre Dame advances. They'll be the 9 o'clock game taking on the winner of this game. Also advancing, Central Tech, the two seed, playing the 7 o'clock game tomorrow against Canada Top Flight Academy. That is the defending champions taking on the two seed. We got two semis tomorrow night. And then as you see, the final at 5 o'clock, Sunday, March 4th. But we also have the consolation final at 3 p.m. that day. Consolation, what's that? I hear you, but I also say to that, my friend, that that is going to be the final games for a number of our star players in the NPA, and they're going to want to show out in their high school finale. Australia, say hello. I guess that's the closest we'll get to Auckland, New Zealand, which Jonty Vink hails from, and he played in our previous game for London Basketball Academy. I want to thank you for tuning in from down under. AJ Lawson, easy. And I said, if AJ Lawson could carry this team to a national championship, that says a lot about this young man and the direction that his game is headed in. It's Greater Toronto Area Prep holding on to a slim one point lead. Mo Allen. Ooh, Ooh, that one just rattles. He's come out looking to be that sharpshooter for this team from range. Halfway in for half of them. But a 
Kobe Neath hit that sideline while he was down the floor. The GTA prep out of Mississauga, Ontario. A handful of Brampton natives, including the man with the ball right now, A.J. Lawson. Moallen back to A.J. Ooh, he lost it. Casey Izago gets it back. A.J. pull up three. He's not going to think twice about that one. A.J. is that top shotta. Top shotta, spelled S-H-O-T-T-A. <laughs> Neath. That is the third time that that corner has swallowed up a heel or a toe. Stepping out of bounds along that sidelines has been an epidemic in this game. Ooh, ooh look at Mo Allen. Oh, fires that pass. Great ball movement, Lindo. Miss. Going back the other way. Yep, foul call. AJ Lawson, call for the foul. You can find out all of our stats on NPACanada.com. AJ Lawson named a first team All-Star unanimous selection before this game. Averaging 23 points per game, which was good for third in the NPA. Oh. This is some high level basketball. Casey Izagu tried to throw it down. Luis Pacheco met him at the rim. Foul on the body. You say that Izagu is a work in progress still. Front rim and out. It seems to have an awful lot of movement in that free throw. A lot of moving parts. Oh. Franco Miller tucked it. And Looked good like job protecting on his way to the rim. Just wide open. Too many defenders in the way. Going to make sure he finishes that time. Going to stop mentioning the score to everybody because it's going to be within two or four points either way. Oh, nice dip to do. I said before this game, I was asked guys to look out for. Obviously, AJ Loss and Iziagu. Love my Joshua Hodden. Half of Mo Allen has a special place in my heart, but also said Tristan Linda, one of my favorite. Yep. Yep. And he has been spectacular in this game. He's consistent. He's consistent. You know what you're going to get from him. Spectacular in his role. Yes. That's yes, 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 absolutely yes. what I meant. Good correction. I'm a coach at heart, man. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Just mean as in I love it when a guy can play his role. I'm not looking at the top score on every team, right? Hey, you know I'm a coach at heart. I call everybody out for their mistakes. You're a leader. And you're fully a, accept my own. You're a leader. I wouldn't say you're a coach, but you're a great leader. What are yes. coaches? Coaches are leaders. No, no, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay, you're a coach. What do you want from me? You're Thank a coach. You. Thank okay. you. I'm trying, to bring it, I'm trying to bring it into the gym. No, I am not going through all that certification stuff. I've taken a look at that. that I'm is, not a big fan I of the do, whole certification process have, anyway. I do not have time for that. I know more coaches that don't have quote unquote certification that are better coaches than guys that do. If you're gonna pay to get certified and go through some classroom program and not, that's not, that doesn't do you any good. It doesn't do the kids any good either. Debatable. I mean, you'll learn a few things for sure. 
but there's nothing like putting in reps and time with mm -hmm. your guys. Oh, Trevon Thomas trying to clean it up. Look at the contact, the refs letting him play, letting him ball out. I can appreciate that with, with this type of talent on the floor. You don't want to hear too many whistles. You want some flow, some rhythm. for every inch out there. Kobe Antwi. And the Crestwood staff unhappy with that call, but both officials coming up with the same call. Joshua Houghton gets stuck in the corner. Ref cor corrects the call as Simmons is on the baseline. Second chance, third chance, here we go. This game has become a battle in the trenches. Oh, AJ Lawson comes up with it. Wasn't pretty. This really is being decided in the trenches. Like this entire first seven minutes of the third quarter has happened underneath the rims. And allowing the game to speak for itself a little bit. They doubt you need me telling you about players consistently jumping up and down. And this quarter final, pretty much like the rest of them, going down to the wire it seems. Shooting has escaped both of these squads. Would not have guessed this score at this point of the game. I think this is a result of how evenly matched the two teams are. I would agree with you, man. I would agree with you. This is this is the most talented two teams overall. If you look at looking at it on paper, there's a lot of next level players between these two rosters. I would not be surprised if about 80, 85% 80, of the, the players on these two teams end up at the next level, whether that's JUCO, whether that's NCAA Division One, Division Two, Canadian University. Cash is the first. Samaji Bapu, another player who I believe it was in that Crestwood session kind of caught our eye for the first time. Finding his place in this Crestwood squad. Well, don't look now, we're tied at 49. Three minutes left. Under three minutes left in the third. Yeah. That's tough for head coach David Cooper. You know, he's asking his big to use the body to his advantage. There's that fine line, right? It's four fouls on Casey Izagu. That's what you were mentioning before about, you know, not quite polished. Even if it wasn't necessarily an offensive foul, maybe just you know the a little bit of awkwardness. Crestwood 
Crestwood back in the lead. AJ Lawson, Euro stepping, gets it back, that second jump. I really felt like this third quarter was going to be one of those, you know, back and forth affair. It's going to be decided in the fourth, but with Isiago out of this game, Crestwood can really make a big time run here at the end of this quarter. Miller. Out of control that time. Joseph Laddie played it clean. And that's a Babu. Pilati, corner. That is the man who hit some clutch shots in the first half, but not right there. And Jacoby Neath calming it down. As the giant Simmons couldn't cash in from the corner. Pull up. Wow. Jacoby Neath does not have a conscience. Had not had the range to this point. Pull up three is cold blooded, a seven point lead. Stay with us. We'll be back after a short break. Is expanding for season three. Canada's only national prep school basketball league is accepting applications from high level programs from coast to coast. The NPA provides top competition, unrivaled exposure, and every program will have an impact in the growth of the league. We may also be able to provide opportunities for individual players looking to join one of the MPA teams. The team application deadline is April 30th. Email info at northpolehoops.com to start the process for your chance to join a nation inspired. The National Preparatory Association is expanding for season three. Canada's only national prep school basketball league is accepting applications from high-level programs from coast to coast. The NPA provides top competition, unrivaled exposure, and every program will have an impact in the growth of the league. We may also be able to provide opportunities for individual players looking to join one of the NPA teams. The team application deadline is April 30th. Email info at northpolehoops.com to start the process for your chance to join a nation inspired. The National Preparatory Association is expanding for season three. Canada's only Back to live game action. Franco Miller putting the straps on AJ Lawson, trying to deny him. He's gonna get fouled on that one. Speaking of fouls, Casey Izagu with four, still on the floor. Luis Pacheco with four on the bench for Crestwood. Franco Miller off, Elijah Fisher on. A seven point lead with 130 left in the third. With Miller off, this is a key point of the game for GTA Prep. What can they do? That's what AJ Lawson can do. An mm -hmm. effortless pull up three from feet behind the line. And up, Dondre Reddick on Nice. Zagu, they're gonna force it at him. Wow, Jacoby Nice is taking the spotlight and putting it on himself when his team needs him the most. AJ was thinking about it. Oh, and they're gonna get it to him wide open. He's gonna pull it. Wow. AJ was nothing but net the first time, was a half foot short that time. Jacoby Neath, so confident with the rock. Feathers a great pass down there, just was not handled by Ababu. Back up top. Neath, front rim and out. 26 seconds left, six point game, foul called. And this is why GTA Prep is still gonna be in this game as long as it's single digits. Because AJ Lawson is so fast with that first step that he's gonna find himself at the line consistently down the stretch of this game. 
but he needs to hit the shots. And Jay, it's one thing to have a first step, it's another to have a long first step, yeah. and then an even longer second as he gains momentum and goes downhill. Tough to stay in front of him, tough to recover after he's beat you. Now they're pulling Iziagu off to protect him with those four fouls. A five point lead for Crestwood. National championship on the line, ladies and gentlemen. Canada's national championship is on the line. Win and you're in, lose and you go home. Great drop off pass from Jacoby. Guys just gotta be ready. You've been playing with him for how long? You know what he's about. That's the same thing with Kellen Tynes. Everyone's being held up. There's going to be 0.9 left on the clock. Point nine on the clock. GTA Prep has time to get a shot off if it's quick. No, that did not get off in time. So we got a five point lead. We got a fourth quarter coming up. Stay with us. Everyone has their story. What's yours? Were you born with the ball in your hands? Or were you a late bloomer? Are you a dead-eye shooter? Or a high flyer? Throws up an alley you! All ammo! Williams! Are you a leader? Or an elite role player? North Pole Hoops wants to know, what's your story? Rep by rep, you push yourself. Effort is only half the battle. Doubt sets in. Why do you do it? Is it worth it? The lights turn on. All your questions are answered. We've traveled across the country and back. Six years running. Shout out Newfoundland, Caleb Suley. His father here as well from The Rock. We're looking for expansion folks outside of Ontario. We're looking west. We're looking Quebec. I think Newfoundland, they're going to be knocking on the door of an NPA franchise soon. And they're going to want in. I heard their under-17 team could do some damage this year. Oh, putting them in the spin cycle. Dondre Reddick has come to play in this fourth quarter. The lead's down to three. Get your popcorn ready, folks. We're in for a fourth quarter. Neath. Oh, he's going to pull out Halati. He's like, I'll take you, son. Step back three, Jacoby Neath. No good. Foul underneath. Neath. 
Reddick, after that great move on one end, it's hit for a foul underneath the rim. Let's go, hey, let's go, let's go, get it back. Get it back, fight through it. We gotta fight through, we gotta fight through it. That's the voice hey, hey, of head coach it, David Cooper. Jump to it, stay back out. Jump to it. Jump to it. Elijah Fisher, young gun out there. Kobe Antwi who did some highlight damage earlier in the game. There you go, Joe. Great job, Joe. Joseph Haladi stayed away from that one. GTA Prep gets the ball back down three. Oh, half with Mo Allen. So fast with the ball. Almost loses it. They get it back. Mo Allen into the corner. Kick out. Haladi, that's his game. He's fouled. Go to the line to shoot three. No argument from the Crestwood sideline. And Haladi, a really good three, uh, free throw shooter. I expect he'll make at least two of these. Believe coming back from a, a broken wrist. Wrist, yeah. yeah. Earlier in the season, he said he would be back just in time for nationals, and here he is on the floor, missing the first. Second one's butter. And the third is margarine. Two of three. Emery Demirsu in for the first time for Crestwood. Got to find a stopgap because Franco Miller saddled with four fouls on the bench for Crestwood. Ooh. Kobe Antwi airs it out. Hafith Mualan pushes it back. Haladi no good, and we're back the other way. Jacoby Neath, full stride, drops it off. Thomas, good, good hands. hands. Tristan Lindo, great hands to strip it clean and knock it off of Thomas out of bounds. Have I mentioned we're in for a good fourth quarter? Absolutely, man. This has been, this whole game, this whole last actually three games have been really good. Oh, look at Neath. I want to show some love to RNS and the fight that they put up earlier today against the number one seed, man. They took them, they took them three quarters, maybe three and a half quarters oh. strong. Wow, the roll that he needed to will that in. Dondre Reddick has come to play in this fourth quarter, and I believe he was the focus of Coach Cooper's loud noises heading into this fourth quarter during their huddle. The whole GTA prep squad really coming alive, man. They're, they're clicking on all cylinders. Aladdy. He's got to keep shooting those. He can make them. They looked good, leaving, the, leaving his hands. Great rotation on it. These stands are looking good across from us here. Some nervous energy. You can tell. You can tell who has a family member on the floor right now and who's just here enjoying the basketball. Four outstanding quarterfinals. I was about to say, that's an easy call for the officials. GTA Prep getting it back. Timeout, Crestwood, stay with us. We'll be back. Yet again, a 10 point advantage restored for Team Blue. Oh! That's Judy Charges! Throwing it down! Welcome to the NPH live broadcasting experience. Allow our team of video technicians to capture your event in high definition, streaming directly on all NPH media platforms. Up to the minute live game coverage featuring professional commentators and analysts. Tip in! No good! 
Two seconds to go. Oh! Commercial spots available to promote and market your brand, event, or product. Enjoy the ultimate way to catch the game when you can't. That man from Quebec! Canada's basketball talent blossoms right before our eyes. From coast to coast. It's our job to bring it to the light. No gimmicks, just hard work on the hardwood. Who will step up to the plate this summer? Who will make their game undeniable? And challenge every man in front of him game will speak. We've traveled across the park. Taking a look around at the fans in attendance and a lot of them are buried in their phones because of what Lindell Wigginton just did for Iowa State. Okay, now get off the phone so let's get back to this action. One point lead for GTA Prep, 7.06 left. Lindell Wigginton, obviously a world champion with Team Canada's under 19 team. He was just, stole the show a little bit here in the gym as everybody's checking out what just occurred in the NCAA ranks as we see two teams that have players Knocking on the door of that next level. Franco Miller of the Bahamas, one of our first team all-stars with four fouls in this game. Casey Izagu, our defensive player of the year, on the bench with four fouls. Luis Pacheco, a finalist for defensive of the player of the year, on the bench with four fouls. That's the storyline. But I guess all you really need to know is a one-point lead for GTA Prep. Great hands, half with Mowallen coming up with a steal. This boy's gonna earn himself a scally. Lost it on the way up, got it back. You got to finish those around the rim. Demirsu in all kinds of trouble, bailed out. Nice. Had to get out of jail card free. The aforementioned Luis Pacheco, number 21 for Crestwood, just checks back into the game. He was like a caged animal. <laughs> he ran onto that floor as quick as he could. Nice. Franco Miller, ooh, tough shot to take. Ooh. Wow, letting him play. Mo Allen, kick out Simmons. Camping out in that corner. Look at Mo Allen. Oh, tough pass to try to drop the way of the kid, Scotty Austin. Miller into the corner. Kobe Antwi? No. Lindo comes down with it. Active hands all over the floor here, Elias. One of the vets for this squad, DeAndre Pierre, checking in for half of Mo Allen, who's played. Some really strong minutes here. We're in a one-point game halfway through the last quarter, last game of the night, last quarter final. Man, it's been a long day. But not my games, last breath, bro. When you got games like this, though, it's very easy to fight through the sore throat. That was DeAndre Pierre finishing. Three-point lead for GTA Prep. Emery Demirs. He didn't play until this fourth quarter, and he's just cashed in a long two. Turkish Delight 2.0. Oh. Looked like Demirsu might have got a hand on yep. it. Lawson about to check back in here. Fourth quarter, we're halfway through exactly. Oh. And a good job by Pierre separating from the defender there. Into the corner, Demirsu. Push on the back. As A.J. Lawson 
Number one in the red, checking back in. Taking off Tristan Lindo. Like, we knew this was going to be a one possession game in the final five minutes, right? It's going to be a one possession game in the final minute. Oh, Pacheco. Such a defensive presence. Franco Miller. Working the rock. Nice. Deed up by A.J. Lawson. Pacheco. Offensive rebound and put back. Pacheco still doesn't have the post moves, but it's almost like he gets into that position in order to get his own rebound for the put back. And it works. Pacheco at the line. Wow, Pacheco wasn't close on either of those. If you're looking to foul someone down the stretch, that's your guy. AJ Lawson, fresh off the bench, rims out. Miller, nope, gets his own rebound. Someone's fouling out, and it's Franco Miller. Two guys with four fouls connecting. And Franco Miller comes out on the wrong end of it. Franco Miller is fouled out of this game. We're going to pull it back here a second. Take a short break and we'll be right back. Get your feet square, get your feet square. Take it home, write it down, grab a homie, and work on it. Work on it, master. AJ Lawson, go! He gets it to go! Wow! Pick it up, Jalen. Oh my god! Top 10. Top 10, top 10. Two-way players are the best players. Understand that. Two-way players are the best players. Here's Sabri Phillips. Two-way jam! Let's go, boy! Got it figured out. Oh, nice take. What a fourth quarter for DeAndre Pierre. They get it back, AJ Lawson back to Pierre. Behind the back to AJ, no finish. Great defense by Simmons. Has been helping out from the corner three. This time comes in clutch on the defensive end. Three and a half minutes to play here. GTA up a triple. Jim's getting juiced up. Well, then step into a slim gym. <laughs> I drop a macho man impression, but that would destroy what's left of my vocal cords. I'll do it for you. Oh, yeah. So got it. Oh, Trevon Thomas, tipped in. How about that, Kobe, Kobe Antwi? He's, he's had a couple of those tonight. He's been very good for them this season. Right place, right time. Corner three. Nice, out of bounds off his hand. And he threw it out the right way. That, that's the kind of intelligence, that's the kind of IQ. He made sure that, hey, if I'm tipping it, I'm tipping it out of bounds. No chance for them to recover and, and get a gimme under the rim. Tough shot. Neath. Nice. Pushing it. 
Thomas. Back to Neath. Under three to go. A one point game. And Iziagu has four fouls. Ooh, a little bit of contact. Again, two bigs with four fouls in Pacheco and Iziagu. They both know that. They came together. Staring down that five second count. Ziagu comes up with it. Pierre, what a move. DeAndre Pierre has had an outstanding fourth quarter for GTA Prep. Has stepped up for his squad. And the light shines the brightest. He has stepped into the spotlight. Down on the floor, DeAndre Pierre. Coach Cooper worried about his guy. All right, looks like they're gonna have to pull him off. Will Russell wants to talk it over with 2.16 to go. Health Institute here taking care of our guys. Stay with us, we'll be back. Everyone has their story. What's yours? Were you born with the ball in your hands? Or were you a late bloomer? Are you a dead-eye shooter? Or a high flyer. Throws up an alley -oop. All ammo! Williams! Are you a leader? Or an elite role player? North Pole Hoops wants to know. What's your story? Goes right down the lane with the slam. That's a dive. That's a dive. Showtime from the Filipino Wrecking Machine. And if you want to put together a Matthew Dave's highlight reel, oh, look out, your boy, Elijah Fisher. Two handed slam. Two out of Calgary. Ooh, no look pass. Big time finish. Cole Newkirk. Oh, so if you turn it over like that, it doesn't matter. 21, Nas Robert. You haven't missed a thing. Half of Moallen staring down Kobe Antwi. Oh, half of Moallen to change of direction on this kid. AJ Lawson back with Trevon Thomas. Trying to volleyball it in. And AJ's telling half of, take a breather. We're good. We have a three-point lead with 144 to go. AJ nice Lawson, AJ. court vision personified. And look at the defense being played by Dondre Reddick right here. He was told by his coach, you get up on Jacoby Neath. And that is what we're seeing right now. Neath has had to battle for everything. AJ, calm it down. Oh, wide open in the corner. Oh no, oh no. Unforced error. That was interesting because I think Hafez Moalan wanted to shoot it, realized that he shouldn't, and shuffled his feet while the thought was through the mind. That 
could be a huge play in this game. I mean, forced turnover. costly, yeah, costly turnover. But regardless, I mean, half of Moalan has done so much for this team. Coach Cooper's got to be happy with the production coming. Wow, from this game. Javon Thomas turned what should have been a clock-killing possession for GTA Prep into a three for Crestwood. Two-point game, folks. Izagu. If that's on Pacheco, he's done. Yep, Luis Pacheco. He's heading to the bench. Fouls out. In comes the young buck, Elijah Fisher. AJ Lawson pull up three. Plus the foul, AJ Lawson has that clutch gene and he showed it once again. With his team up two in the final 55 seconds, AJ Lawson cashes a three while getting fouled. Put it on Instagram stories, folks. It's in his DNA. Six point lead. 50 seconds to go. This game is still within reach for Crestwood Prep. Neath, crossover, into the lane. Foul called. It wasn't on Iziago, it's on Dondre Reddick. If it was on Iziago, that would have taken him out of the game. Would have been his fifth. That's why I mentioned it. My bad, did I miss it? No, 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 it's so good. <laughs> It's been a long day, man. It has Back been a long off. day. I know. You're supposed hey, to be a get, team. Don't get testy with me. I'm not We're Tarek. supposed to be a team. I'm not Tark. Don't you bring up this brotherly <laughs> rivalry at this time. Five point game here. GTA, the advantage. Oh, Neath misses the second. That's big. They gotta hold this out as long as they can. Neath. No need to rush a shot here. Big defense, and Neath comes up with the steal. Behind the back, Neath forcing it, taking it, he's young. Oh! The defensive player of the year sends it back off the glass. And that might have been the defensive play of the year. Defensive dagger. Mo Allen hands it off to AJ. What an exciting game we had here tonight on both ends of the floor. The highlight notepad is out of space. Timeout, head coach Roe Russell so gets his boys together. Iziago's mic'd up too. Stay with us, we'll be back. My name is Franco Miller and I'm mic'd up with North Fort Let's get it, Franco. Y'all know what it is. Shout out to the 242 Bahamas stand up. NPH Scouting Service. The NPH Scouting Service is another platform for exposure with a network of over 300 coaches and scouts from some of the most recognizable brands and programs. Our scouts are constantly evaluating talent to ensure accuracy and credibility. NPH Scouting Service. The NPH Scouting Service is another platform for exposure with a network of over 300 coaches and scouts from some of the most recognizable brands and programs. Our scouts are constantly evaluating talent to ensure accuracy and credibility. And join NPH in growing basketball in this country. NPH events. There's an opportunity to get involved at the ground level. NPH hosts elite level high school tournaments to national club team champions. Thank you for everyone tuning in online, getting us over that 200 mark. So by the end of today, we'll have about 5,000 viewers 
total watching NPA Canada. And this is just the quarters. We still got a game going here. Six point lead, Neath. They need a three though. Neath running out of room, running out of time. Launches. Isiagu came up with it. The defensive player of the year provided the dagger. And GTA Prep has made sure that our top four seeds all advance to the semifinals. 72-66 is your final. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Those quarterfinals were outstanding. We have now set our semis on Saturday night. The nine o'clock game will be Notre Dame advancing to that 9 p.m. game taking on GTA Prep while Central Tech will take on CTA. It will be one versus four, two versus three. Thank you all for joining us today. The NPA is where it's at. Jason Tom signing off for Elias Sabate and everybody here with the NPA and North Pole Hoops. Thank you for joining us. We love doing this for you.